Easter coloring books are making up to $150 a day on Amazon as they approach Easter Sunday, or up to $250 if you throw in some puzzles with that. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take any image or vector image and in just three steps, create an interior for one of these coloring books to publish on Amazon just using your computer or laptop. And you can even do this with free software. But you have to be quick if you're going to get your books published. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, in my most recent video, which I'll link to below, I looked at the Easter niche in some detail and explored the keywords and resources for the covers and interiors. But if we take a quick look at the market for Easter coloring books on Amazon, it's quite strong. And if we look here, as I do a search for Easter coloring book, we can see that the the market is quite strong and competitive. There are 3000 results here, but if you do watch that previous video, you'll see that on my Gumroad shop, I do have Easter coloring book keywords listed there for free. And there are some less competitive keywords. But if we have a quick look down here at the, the coloring books that are listed, what I did was take around about the top four books based on their best sellers ranks and I put the details into a spreadsheet and looked at the best sellers rank sales per month using the TCK book publishing calculator you just put the best sellers rank in here and it'll tell you how many sales per month or or how many sales per day then I used tangent templates entering the page count and list price to get the profit per book and then work out the income for each book. And also I wrote down the, the number of pages per book there. So we just get an idea of, of what the, the average number of pages per book is in the market. We can see here, it's somewhere between 50 and 107, but you can see the incoming is not huge at the moment. We're looking at anywhere between 57 to $290 per month. Now I know the book calculator does underestimate quite a bit when I compare my sales um, with the, the best sellers ranks of some of my books. So this is probably an underestimate, but anywhere here between 57 to $290 a month. However, that's at the moment. But what I'm about to show you in a second will change that completely. Because if we go and find some books that have got a, a sales history over the last two years, we can see that it looks quite different. Here we've got a book selling for $7.95 and we can see using a free plugin I've got called um, Helium 10, it's absolutely free, it's a Chrome plugin. You can see here that the, the best sellers rank rises and then drops as it's coming up to Easter and then reaches a low. And for this particular book here, it's around about, I think it's around about the 4,167, 4, I think. Then I went and had to look at this other book, again, selling $7.97, which is good because it means there's profit there of around about $2.60. And again, we can see that the, the best sellers rank has dropped twice um, coming up to, to Easter. And again, I think the low was around about the 8,000 mark. And then we have this one here, which is actually a coloring book, but it's got some, um, puzzles in there as well to make it an activity book. Not selling as, uh, as such a high price, but the best sellers rank really dropped on this one, uh, particularly last year. If we look here, I think it went down to, I think it's about 789, which is selling a real lot. So I put that into the, the spreadsheet, as you can see here, and we can see that for the first two first two coloring books, they're making around about the $150 mark uh, per day. Remember, this is an underestimate. Uh, the actual activity book is making a lot more at almost $250 a month. Again, probably an underestimate. So you can see, although the sales are not brilliant at the moment, those best sellers ranks will drop as sales start to increase. So it really is important to get your books in now to take advantage of that and get your, those keywords for your book indexed on Amazon well before um, actual Easter Sunday approaches, which I think this year is around about April the 4th. So let's look at creating the interior. For any book, this is usually the most difficult part, but especially for things like coloring books, puzzle books, and handwriting books, um, they do take quite a bit of time to create the interiors, but what I'm gonna show you is quite a, a quick and effective method. 
Now, if you're an artist, you can create these yourself or trace images on an iPad using something like Procreate. If not, like me, you can outsource on Fiverr or Upwork or buy ready-made graphics to customize yourself. And this is important to make them unique and avoid any issues with duplicate content penalties. You could just go straight to Creative Fabrica and download a coloring book interior. Here we've got a, an interior um, that's listed. I just did a, a search on Creative Fabrica for uh, Easter interior and we've got this one here. The advantage of this particular listing is that it does come as Adobe Illustrator file which means each page is fully editable. If we do go back we can see that there are some other offerings here but they're not as easily editable so you can imagine if more people are, are buying these and they're not modifying them then there can be issues of lots of people creating coloring books with the same interior so it's quite important to to modify them to make them original now you could combine a coloring book interior with puzzles to create an activity book so you could use in a way these um, ready-made coloring book interiors and add some puzzles in there again that would make your interior uh, more original so I'm going to show you how to do this in just three steps you could use this method to make the covers too now the first step is finding suitable images the second step is editing them and making them original and the third step is putting them all together in an interior ready to upload to the KDP platform on Amazon so we'll first find our main images. We want vector images for these. Vectors are great because you can enlarge them without reducing the quality and they're easily manipulated in software. The file formats for these are .ai, .svg and .eps. A popular site for vector images is Vecteasy. And here I did a search for Easter. Now you'll know there's lots of graphics here with this little free badge on. Now you can use these, you normally have to put a, an attribution in your book, you can do that you know, on the first page, but you're only allowed to sell 50 copies. But what you could do is use the money to invest in a pro license which is currently uh, $108. So you could use your profits you make to invest and then upgrade to the pro license and use as many of these as you like and to create even more books. But if we have a look here, just a quick scroll down, I'll see if there's anything that I like that jumps out at me and I'm going to have a closer look at this one. So I'll go ahead and download this particular one because I can see good potential. Now there are other sites where you can get images from. Uh, the ones I've used are Design Bundles and Creative Fabrica. Now as mentioned in many um, videos, Creative Fabrica is one of my favourites at the moment because they sell lots of interiors, great graphics, uh, images and also fonts. I'll leave the link uh, down below to that. It is an affiliate link so I do get a small commission for that which helps this keep this channel um, going. But if you click on it, it, it's entirely up to you. So let's have a look what they've got on offer at Creative Fabrica. Now again, I did a search for Easter and I went down a few pages and came up with these which look pretty interesting. I can see a, a use for these. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this one and click on download so we can download it to the computer. Now to make these original, what I'm also going to need, particularly for the, the second graphic, I think we're going to be all right with the first graphic, but the second one, uh, we're going to make it original by downloading some um, backgrounds that can be colored in or, or patterns. So went over to Creative Fabrica again and did a search for patterns and there are lots to choose from and I came across this one, 25 geometric pattern coloring pages. These are all JPEG files so I went ahead and downloaded them. If you were really feeling enthusiastic you could create these patterns yourself in your software of choice but we're going to download them, make life a bit easier. So by the time you've combined your main image with a pattern you will have something uh, something original because it's unlikely anyone else is going to have that same combination. Now if you are getting value from this video so far then please hit that like button it does help the, the channel get noticed and it's much appreciated. So now we've got our images we're on to step two and that's editing them in software. Now today I'm going to use Affinity Designer. I'm actually new to this software but I really like its functionality and is a cross between Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I also bought Affinity Photo for photo editing which is similar to Adobe Lightroom. 
Actually, they're currently offering the software at half price, which I think is around about the $28 mark. They actually reduced it to about half price, approximately three days after I paid full price, but, but that's how it goes. So that's actually a bargain. So if you are interested, check them out, Affinity Designer. You can also do what I'm going to show you in Adobe Illustrator, or there's free software such as Inkscape or Gravit Designer. Now, Gravit Designer is a web-based software. And what I'm going to show you is pretty basic, so can easily be performed on any other software. So let's go over to our software of choice, which is Affinity Designer. Now, what I've done is I've set up my blank page, first of all. Now, this is going to be a coloring book, and the images are going to go to the edges of the pages, so we need bleed. So this is going to be 8.5 by 11, but because it's bleed, because the images go to the edges, we're going to need to add on uh, an extra amount. So we're going to add on 0.25 to the height and 0.125 to the width. So it's going to be 8.625 by 11.25. So we've got our blank document here for our first page. So we're going to take our image. Now, first of all, I want to get rid of this background here. So I'm just going to delete that and that leaves us with this main image. Now we need to drag a bounding box around the whole image and what we need to do is click on our color tab and we're going to put an outline around all the components of this image. So we click on this which is the stroke and we're going to click on black. So that will put, you can see there, it outlines our image and we're going to do the fill as white. Now those lines are a bit fine so we're going to increase the size of the stroke. We're just going to move it up a bit, I think, to about three. So there we've actually got our first image, which I think would be a great first page in our coloring book. Now we come on to our second image. Now we don't want these background components, so we're just going to delete those. And again, we're going to put a bounding box. So we're just going to draw a box, which is going to select all the components of this image. Now, as we did before, we want our stroke as black and we want our fill as white. Now we've got lines of different thickness here, so we want to make them all equal. So again, we click on stroke and we're just going to see what that looks like at about four. So this one will be eight, like so. So now we're going to go onto our blank page for this. Now what I want is our pattern that we downloaded. So we're just going to drag across our pattern like so and put it onto our page holding down shift i'm just going to drag that so it covers the the whole page then we're going to go back to our image of the rabbit and again a bounding box around it all command or control c to copy command or control v to paste that's quite large so let's just shrink it all down holding down shift i'll just reduce the size of the image drag it up to our page enlarge that again now our image the the stroke seems to be a bit gone a bit wild so let's just adjust that again just to make it match our background and there we have our page and that's something that a, a child or even an adult if they're into easter coloring books could quite easily color in so you know, you might want to spend more time in, in picking uh, a background or again, as I said, creating a background yourself. So now we've got our two um, pages, two images sorted out. We're now on to step three, which is to create the interior. And today I'm going to use Keynote because I'm on a Mac. You can use PowerPoint or you can do this in something like Canva, um, which again is free. So I've set up my page size. In Keynote, you do have to convert the inch size to points, but you can just Google that and, and it comes up with a calculator. Using Keynote and PowerPoint is how I've created all my interiors. I haven't used anything fancy like InDesign or Affinity Publisher, but you can use those and, and do the same process that I'm gonna go through here to create the same sort of interior. So we open up Keynote and we've got our blank page here. This is going to be a 60 page coloring book. So all you do is just highlight your page, Command C, Control C to copy, and then just Command V or Control V to paste until you get down to the number of pages you want to do. In this case, as I said, 60. And we've got our 60 pages here. So we can go to the top and just highlight our first page. So we go back to Affinity Designer, take our first image and just draw another bounding box around it. Command C or Control V to copy. Go back to Keynote, paste in place and then just adjust the size. Now a lot of people will use the, the page behind as a blank page or keep it blank so that colours don't bleed through. So we're going to leave that page blank and go on to page number three. Go back to Affinity Designer, go to our second image 
or second page, Command C or Control C to copy, back to Keynote and Command V or Control V to paste. And there we have our next page. So now you could repeat this process and go through what this book would require, what is it, 30 images or 29, probably 30, and you can do the same thing. And you can see how quick this process is. And you can make it as simple or as complex as you want. But by creating those uh, or combining those two images, the main image and the background, we do arrive at something that is original. And so you avoid those duplicate content penalties, which I know has been uh, quite a big issue uh, with people producing particularly colouring books that have just downloaded an interior, not made any changes and just uploaded it to KDP. So there's a way just to make things a bit uh, easier for you. And as you can see on something like Creative Fabrica, you've got loads of graphics you can choose from. So really, once you start combining the two, there's really unlimited combinations um, that you can do. But part of this is also just to spark your imagination, to think about what I've done here and how could you apply it to, to other images and do uh, a similar thing. And the last thing you need to do is just click on File, Export to, click on PDF, uh, leave the image quality as best, click on Next, call it whatever you like, save it to your Documents folder, and there you're going to have your PDF file all ready to upload to the KDP platform and you're good to go. Now, if you want to learn more about this niche, especially the market, the keywords, which are crucial to get your book ranked, then click this video here. I create regular videos on making money online with KDP books. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get in on the next videos as I publish them. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time. And until next time, goodbye.